the teams to win. I don't know if that's a possibility here, Mitch. No, I said, if Jordan asked, do you think the consistency of heroic or the firepower of phase? And I'm, I say, ah. por que no las dos? There you go. Has uh, sound, thrown a bit of utility out of door in heroic, just chilling in lobby for the time being, looking to potentially try to hit this timing out hut. And they've done so nicely, caught Ooh. rain in the open that they can't finish him off, finally getting those kills. Bit of an awkward situation, but Bora coming in to clean up on Brokey there, as now we have the 4v2 for the retake. Nico and Kiebi need to work together here to try to get back in. Nico just going for a solo pick, trying to gain some information as Kiebi makes his way slowly in to heaven. Just clearing out around default as best he can. Nico's actually managed to crab walk all the way to Squeaky. Kiebi drawing some attention. Just waiting now, and it's, it's this flank coming in from Nico. So Kiebi just buying so much time, Ooh. gets a headshot as well. But that time is ticking down, and there's no kit in their hands at the moment. Nico, it's going to be the pincer on the site, but the, there's just no time remaining. Kiebi, yeah, he's got the side. He's got a big couple of kills on the retake. But look at that, Kadian. He's made that huge flank up to heaven. Won't be able to get the final kill, but it looks like the bomb might just do the job for him. No, actually dies to it as Kiebi survives. But heroic, take the round. Not too bad to hold on to that light head armor. Oh, sorry. Light head armor. What am I talking about? It's just Kevlar. Why can't I just say Kevlar, Mac? What's wrong with me? I don't know. Maybe you've just uh, spent all day sleeping and your body clocks out of whack <laughs> and you're just not ready for it. But look, you're doing your best job, Pilly, and I'm a bloody proud of you. Anyway, into round number two we go. And FaZe <laughs> Clan have decided to go for the force. Let's see if they can stop Heroic here in their tracks. Yeah, they're going to give it a crack. Heroic. Stacked up in towards Lobby. It's not going well for them to start things off, but getting the trades once again into Upper. They've grabbed control of that Upper bomb site, and they're going to try and get that bomb down. And really clean entries going in there. They just want to get in that comfortable post plant. And FaZe, I don't think they want a bar of this. They probably just want to hold on to that Deagle, onto that Scout, see if they can do some damage further into the future. Patience from Brokey and Kiabi. Trolling ramp. But heroic. Very happy with just one casualty in the round. I believe Kadian only had that MAC 10 as well. Or maybe Nico had the MAC 10 and he's grabbed the Galil instead. Whatever the reason. It is going to be three rifles and that MAC 10 carried across into to round number three. And heroic with a solid start, not only with that T pistol, but also. A very clean anti-eco, so that's going to be nice for the economy going forward. Yeah, it's like a similar approach in both rounds, really. Bit of utility out the door. Sit around for four or five seconds and then straight into upper, and they just get some clean trades, some good utility usage to segment off Annex and a couple of flashbangs. It's nothing crazy for Heroic, but simple and effective. Gets them into the lead here, and now they just need to try to make sure they're not sustaining too much damage from these purchases from FaZe, a bunch of HE nades. A scout and a deagle. That's all they got to deal with. So a lot of noise made over towards the lobby, but FaZe Clan, they've gone for the five-man stack at Arpers, and it looks like it's waiting for a fast approach again, but Heroic have slowed this one down, which allows FaZe to rotate back to outers now as well. Ball of smoke's coming through as Nico wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Outside control for Heroic. Nico's going to go on a little bit of an adventure down into Secret, but he might oh. find Kiebi down there with the Deagle and Armor. Tessus gets rid of Nico on Outers. Looking sharp. Looking ready, and he wants some more, but it's Kadian to back it up with the MAC-10. Rain through the smoke. I'm sure he's not going to be happy about that one. I'm liking the way I'm watching Heroic navigate their way through this anti-eco. Good pacing, good utility usage. And they haven't dropped a single player yet, Mac. This is fantastic. Brokey trying to stay proactive with the push here. The down may just go down. He gets spotted here, Brokey. Eyes on the prize. Just trying to isolate the angles for now. There it is. Ooh. That's an AK. Yep. Gonna twist his ankle, but he does get the AK. And he's not too Ooh. injured to not to have to... Uh, not too many problems with Kadian. Six HP remaining for him. 1v3. It's another, but pulls out that knife and Tess is close for the trade. Great spacing from Heroic to deny the AK from being carried across in round number four, but 
It's time for FaZe Clan to get their first buy on the board. Oh, that's sharp. Nice. I think uh, Heroic probably losing a few more guns than they would have wanted there towards the end. But they did retain two of those AKs heading into this round. They built up a fair amount of cash for themselves. Phase, good first gun round. No kit available to them. So if this gets into the very late round, that could be a bit of a factor. Brokey. Flash it out as just to cross to secret. Heroic with a slower approach there at outers. Stown's already down the vent, so that's a really key position to be in. Brokey's trying to manage where he is. Kierby also coming off ramp to try to keep tabs on that. So he's seeing a massive shift in phases rotations. And I think Stown's picked a pretty good timing to try and go and hunt down Brokey. Oh, there it is. Brokey's got his bases covered. Deals with Stown in towards lower, and that's a bit of a loss here for Heroic. That's going to make FaZe a little bit more comfortable to just sit back a little bit more. They've actually given up that ramp room now, let Kierby come back in there, but that's given a bit of an opening to Heroic to get in here. Bar up, wants some more, but he's going to be going to hell instead, and we're going to split into the upper bomb site. Cold's going to be stuck here at default, needs to isolate these angles. Do a good job for now, but it's power up from above that manages to work the timing. Cold's down. That's going to be a site found. Kierby may just be able to find some timing of his own here as he gets into heaven. Warbank seems to be the only option at the moment, but it's going to be patience displayed by Kierby. Oh, unable to connect onto the head. and He's shooting head high, but Borup's just crabbed. Yeah. He ain't moving a muscle, Mac, and Heroic, they put that oh, ball down. Finally is. gets him. Now into this two-on-two, two. Heroic just sitting together, holding hands near the door. Great flash timing, but unfortunately Brokey doesn't turn from it. Could have come up the vent there, and uh, that's going to prompt the, the save from FaZe. Yeah. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I think um, Tessus was full blind there, but you probably, probably would have had Nico in the door ready to trade if he does fly up the vent. So maybe it was for the best. Either way, Heroic, they're really not... Getting contested in this map so far. The timing just a little off with that flash with the push and Brokey. Just blinded, did not back himself up on the A side at all. So I'm happy just to save the valuable AWP over in to round number five instead. And Heroic with a clean beginning here on Nuke. Four and zero. Just starting to assert some dominance early. And work up that economy as well. Oh, Stown's even committed to keeping that MAC-10 in play. So... Let's see what they could do up against FaZe Clan here, who don't actually have the helmets, really. Well, they've got double orbs and deagles and armor. So this is definitely not a round you can take for granted, especially with how strong some of these FaZe players are with that deag. Mm -hmm. What with the orbs as well. Oh, wall of smoke across the outside, and Stown's going to try and sneak his way down the vent, and he's made it down there successfully. So this is actually a pretty high percentage play from Heroic up against those Orps. Very hard to retake that lower site with the AWPs if the utility usage is on point from Heroic. And that's a good example of it. Megaton already being segmented off with one of the smokes. And the Molly, like how, you can't fight through that. You just got to save the Orps. And that's yet another sort of technical victory from Heroic where they just kind of out-rotate their opponent. And that's the thing that I'm liking about how Heroic's playing so far on Nuke. It's I mean, like it's like quiet confidence, man. It doesn't look like he's done yet, though. He wants some exits here. He wants a bit of redemption for giving up the site for free. Yeah, look, they're just trying to make it expensive for Heroic. Coming away with this round, and he has potential to do so. Oh, Crosshair looks good. Just trying to work the timing, unable to get anything done. Cadian has the cover there, and it looks like everyone is far enough away from nice. that bomb to survive. So Heroic are certainly going to be happy with that round, but also FaZe Clan keeping both the orps alive. Yep. Trying to be responsible with that money. Not something that many of us millennials would understand. There's a... Uh, down debating whether to hold on to the Mac 10 and he's not buying any utility, which sort of indicates that Heroic probably wants to go for a quicker strat here, and Stown's just going to be the man who's gunning it. Looks like it's exactly what they're doing. He's uh, just heading straight out, Annex. Oh, but the cover is there from Brokey this time, and Stown unable to gain any advantages. It's going to be Kierby with two, and he knows the third's there as well, unable to connect through the wall. 
pushes here from Kadian, who has the cover, wants to try to find the angle. Kierby utilizing every piece of util he has, but it's Kadian to find him just pushing forward. He's gonna fight his way out of the corner and it's not going to work. Great timing on the rotation from FaZe. Cold locking down the first for FaZe. Nice from Kierby. I don't think I've ever seen an AWP before. So uh, that was a pretty good sequence for the first time I watched him do it. Holding down that ramp room for FaZe Clan Heroic. Trying to throw something different in there. Much quicker strat. Definitely doesn't work out for them. Now they take attack timeout. Give Hunton some time to work his magic. And they're going to be into their first buy. Just trying to reflect on the way that this game is going. Yes, they're up 5-1, Mac, but that was a very clean round for FaZe. They did retain the AWP. The Heroic sort of pondering as to how to push this gun round across the line and potentially more than that. You see FaZe with plenty of money in the bank accounts and they've got that loss bonus built up. So it's going to take a little while for Heroic to try to grind them down and break that economy. Let's see where Heroic decide to go here. To try to put a stop to FaZe Clan before they get going, before they get the motor running. Only on top of Heart, but Heroic not going through to, out, uh, to the upper site rather just yet. Yeah, just pressuring with some utility, trying to force the utility out of FaZe early on. And they've done that pretty nicely. Rain's dropped all of his util, Cold's only got the smoke left on upper. Heroic now throwing out that wall of smoke on outside. Nico's going to try and... I thought he was going to try and displace that smoke with one of his mollies, but instead just chucking it behind the wall of smoke, trying to slow down the progression through it. And Heroic, what do they choose to do here? They've still got the one player in lobby, or at least holding the top of lobby. Now they're committing down into lower the drop on top of Annex for Tessus. And FaZe starting to rotate now that they've got that info. Brokey joins Kierby down in that lower bomb site. Nico's just keeping tabs on outer. So FaZe... Pretty well aware of what's going on. Decent rotations from them. Looks like it's going to be the wrap all the way to hell here. Not committing to the push down through the halls just yet. It is a flash in it to Warehouse. No one here, though. And it's Nico that will be the first line of defense over in CT. Seconds, though. They've really got their work cut out for them because they're running the clock down, checking the angle perfectly. That's fantastic <laughs> from Nico. Nico on Nico action, just what you're here for as Tessus starts to open up the upper site. Cold, he's not able to get a thing done, and Tessus just crumbles there. They're so controlled, Heroic. They're running the clock down so much. That was like 35 seconds on the clock. Mm. All of these players looking in the perfect directions at the perfect time and just hitting all of the frags that they needed. And it just looks so easy. And FaZe had a decent idea what was going on. They were in some decent positions. Nico's in a bit of an unorthodox spot over there towards CT. They had two in lower, which are the two that end up saving. But Heroic putting on a masterclass of this T side of Nuke. Mad Lions were showing some decent performances earlier. These Danish teams, man, so good on that T side of Nuke. And Heroic just with an immaculate beginning, just making all the right moves at the right moment for the five-round lead already. And look, six rounds on the T side. Usually you'd say that's a pretty good half already, but if Heroic can continue to stack on the numbers early, FaZe Clan might not have a chance in the second half. Even from that replay, you can see they're just hard clearing angles. Got a good sense for exactly where FaZe will be playing. The money's starting to look okay from FaZe as we do see some early outer smokes, but it looks like Heroic, they're going to reroute straight into the A site, looking just to draw that attention towards outers for the moment. Yeah, Cole's got a smoke he can drop on that hut entrance. Brokey's actually on this site as well, I think. A couple of players here for FaZe. Rain, he's going to go down quickly. Tessus, he did such a good job at opening up the A site before. As down, tries to go forward. Just everybody blind for now as Brokey rotates in. It's another pick. Nico's Molly gets the job done. Cold is just making such easy work of it. The 
heroic. Choosing to reroute straight down the vent. Trying to stay proactive, trying to stay one step ahead. Kierbi coming down in towards Megaton now. Adian, I think, has that line locked down. Bomb does go down. He's going to drop a molly. Trying to isolate one of these fights with the T's. Borup's up there in lobby actually killing cold. Heroic's so confident, man. Most of the players not even on that lower site. Or at least uh, one of them isn't. And Testus is having a bloody great game, Mac. He's cleaning everyone up every single time his cross is in the perfect spot. And that's a 3k for him. Another solid round. And another solid couple of openings. It seems like FaZe just need to figure out how to deal with him sooner rather than later. Just look at that. What do you do? I mean, I guess you can do that if you broke it, if you're that sharp. Another gun round in here from FaZe, but definitely running out of cash. Full loss bonus. Heroic going very fast across the outside, but a collat to start things off. Puts FaZe in a fantastic position for the first time in, well, this entire game, really. Brokey. Oh. Great job here already. That's four for the round in 30 seconds, and Heroic didn't see it coming. Walking straight into his crosshair. No doubt, Mac, that's a phenomenal performance on the AWP in through secret. But it doesn't fill me with confidence that FaZe can bring this game back, you know. Brokey running around, shotgun orping from that secret position. Is uh, not really a consistent way to win rounds. And what I'm seeing from Heroic is, you know, good structure. Checking all the right angles, good pacing. All being really switched on. Let's see if Stian is able to take the AK across into the next. Looks like he doesn't necessarily need to, but it would even out that economy nicely. Well, that's a, that's a solid round for FaZe to be winning. They've still got quite a lot of lo last bonus built up, but they've kept four guns up. That's going to keep their uh, economy on this CT side pretty strong. A solid round from FaZe, and that might just be what they need to start to get the mode of turning. As we head in the round number 10. Yeah, Heroic uh, running out of cash, actually, with very limited loss bonus. So this could be a bit of a... Single reset round for FaZe to try to get them to start closing this round gap. See if they can take it away. Actually going to commit once again. Stown gets the unvent successfully. Which has pulled the rotation a little bit. You can see Kiebi has to come off ramp. That pulls Brokey over towards elbow to mind ramp. So spreading the CTs a little thinner. Once again, Heroic. But this time he's going to be coming up through secret. Just looking to help the outers player there. I'm going to regroup with Nico and hit the A site. But for now, FaZe. Repositioning. Yeah, Nico and Stown want to work together on outside to try to find a pick. But actually, Nico turns back towards lobby and Stown's been spotted at the top of secret heroic. What is their decision here? Looks like they're going to start creeping out squeaky. Try to challenge Rain in that position, but two of the picks go the way of Heroic pretty quickly. It's cold alone on the site. Brokey joins him. Tessus again just needs to put in some work for Heroic in this round. Lineup's oh. found, but it's Nico to snatch one. And a round again for Heroic. Great job on the rifles there. Oh, this is just such a beautiful T side to watch, Mac. It's just clinical. And FaZe is just struggling to deal with it. Hey, I'm getting nerd chills, man. You're getting what? I'm getting nerd chills. Nerd chills. Yep. What's that? When you see some real good gaming action. Oh, right. Of course. And you get a bit of a feeling deep in your soul. I think that's just called EUCS, Pilly. Solid structure. That's heroic. Have a very good form right now. And we are going to see them go quickly over towards that ramp area. Kierby. What can you do? The newcomer to phase. Going to be mollied back to hell for now. That's heroic. Don't commit to the lower site just yet. And Nico's burnt through all of his utility just to keep them at bay for the time being. And Rain's down there in towards window. And now Vent. 
for Heroic, slowing things down. And in the meanwhile, you've seen Kierbi push through outers, try to take some control, get some info over there. That's the main thing that FaZe have going for them because they're quite split up at the moment. Kierbi actually oh. just one for ones over there. Heroic just dotting all their I's, crossing all their T's, accounting for all the possibilities and all the pushes of the CT's. But what do they do to convert this four on four now? They've given up a little bit of that map control just to clear out that flanker. Nico's sitting around next to Elbow in ramp room. Could go for a bit of a late flank, and it looks like Heroic just looking to keep things simple. Smoke off that NX, try to find some of those trades in upper and get the bomb down and give Nico some room to work with. Oh, but through the smoke, dry. That was a risky one, and Rain gets punished cold, unable to get more than the single as Burrup hits him back, but Brokey doing some swinging as well. 1v2 now, needs to try to clutch it. He's opted for the M4 instead, catches a play. Nico uh, runs out of bullets, goes to the secondary. USP might not be just enough. But as you can see, Kadian, he's taken the initiative to go down to the lower site. But he's just going to be sitting in the vent with 10 seconds. Brokey has made the correct choice. And Kadian, now he's running out of time. He has to go for the kill. And Brokey clutches it in that 1v3. Big plays coming out for FaZe Clan. That just seems to be the only answer for FaZe at the moment. It's just Brokey's brilliance. Previous gun round, 4K with the AWP. This time, a 1v3 clutch. But that's not a consistent way to win rounds for FaZe. It's like I said before. Heroic is just looking like the better team at the moment. They're looking fantastic on this T side of Nuke. And unless some of these individuals for, for, can, for FaZe can dig them out of these holes, it doesn't seem like they can win rounds. This could be a bit of a difference maker here. Both teams starting to run out of money here. Aggression on outside. Oh. Nico just <laughs> sends it straight at Katie and finds that man advantage. W key champion and both Nikos doing some work. Now Tessus will find phase Nico. As lowercase Nikos tries to make his way in oh, from just, Annex. Just say the name, man. Just say <laughs> the name. So, Look so where Tessus is at though. He's wrapping heaven right now. He could actually get rain for free. If he finds the right timing. And there it is again, just doing so much work. And 1v2, yeah. Kierby, what can he do? He's got control of the bomb now, control of lobby. He's got 14 bullets. He needs a bit of a reload, Mac. Ah, no, nah, he'll be right, mate. Oh, it's a famous. I've seen it. I've seen it, you know, 88 and 4 people before. I've seen a couple of those bullets go a little sloppy. The thing is, look, he's got a minute to play with. Heroic, they have been very thorough. What's the chance Tessus just walks over here and drops the smoke right in front of him? He's that switched on at the moment. Could happen, but now Kierby picks the wrong timing just to clear the flank out. Let's see if Heroic make their way through as he does come back in from T side. Once the T split up, and that's going to be the first. Isolates the fight, but he doesn't know that Stown's around the corner. Stown's just holding the angle. But has to fall off. Jiggling through for Kierby. Stown's going to start putting down the bomb. It's picked up a Galil now, an AK, and a flash into CT vent. Turned from, but creates the space for Kierby to win that duel. And it's another clutch to get FaZe a CT round. Heroic, still not much loss bonus. The bomb plant puts their money in a weird situation, but they may consider a force just with how close that round came down. Both teams... Again, heading into the next round are going to be very, very poor. So Heroic's got a bit of a decision to make. Do they light invest and try to chip through some damage or do they try to break the money? I guess it just comes down to how well they've been tracking that economy. You assume that they're doing a pretty good job of that at this point. Yeah. But into round number 13, FaZe. They're starting to get a few rounds on the board, but Heroic already have the majority for the half. So has the damage already been done is the real question. And it looks like that call to force has been made by Heroic here. Yeah, this can be a, a bit of a trap, though, for Heroic. Because if this doesn't work for them, they could potentially be uh, forfeiting a bit of space for FaZe to actually try to grind back to seven. And Nico's going to start off nicely. He's been finding some entries on that CT side, some opening frags, rather. Pretty regularly these last couple of rounds. And Heroic trying to pick up the pace in towards lower. They don't have great weaponry here, not even a single AK, and they're kind of getting outclassed in these duels at the moment. Yeah, certainly just red. Look, Nico found that one on a silver platter. Someone walking into him, head facing the opposite direction. As now, 
Up on the rafters, Kier goes down, and there's no trade just yet. Cold doing God's work with that Famous. Upgrade into the AWP, and FaZe lay on another. Five to eight now, looking for the final two rounds of the half to try and keep it as close as possible before we head into the second. Looking to try to get themselves a sixth in this anti-eco, and in the one following, Heroic will be able to buy. And this is quickly turning around, Mac. This was a very one-sided half in favour of Heroic. Did not look close at all. But classic phase. A mm. couple of big plays, a couple of clutches. And they can turn this game that uh, really wasn't going their way into something. Forget about that, though. Bora cracking things open with that Deagle and Heroic. Inching into upper, looking for more headshots. Oh, but it's Brokey again. Seemingly... Finding the timing over and over on Heroic. Dude, Katie has just sent it into lower, man. The rest of his team's just wandering around looking for picks. Oh, but far up again. Two at the Deagle now. Brokey close range with a couple of the T's here. Let's see if he wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bora, but out is... It's close, but it seems like he's just back towards the CT vent now. Looking to create some distance. One on Nico, Cold on Stout. And Bora really seems to be the only hope in the round now, but Kadian edges his way up the vent. Brokey won't be able to spot this line now. Bora goes down to the outers. Kadian, the last hope. But Brokey, three onto the AWP to make sure they secure that anti-eco and that no more financial damage was done by Bora there with the Deagle. Solid approach with just the pistols. But phase now as we head into round 15. Looking likely to take a seventh. That's crisp. Some crisp dealing. Great crosshair placement from Borup. How quickly this game's turned around, Mac. Heroic looking to try to secure themselves this 9 6. So, pretty slow start out of the player break, all things considered, but you've got to take the time to warm up, and that's just what's happening. But Heroic, a faster approach to the A site. Rain almost with the quad, but it. Doesn't quite line up. It's going to be cold. Two from above. Kiebi with a single. And there it is. It couldn't be closer at the half. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a second to get to. But before there, we need to take a break. So we'll see you in a second.
Welcome back to ESL One Cologne. FaZe Clan and Heroic going head to head right now. And Heroic into the second half have a one round lead. FaZe Clan managing to fire up towards the end of that first half. Maybe able to carry this momentum forward and see what they can get done on the T side. And then all starts here on the pistol. It looked like a dominant T side for Heroic, but a couple of clutches later and a strong CT economy. And FaZe have really made a good run of things. Blowing open the door, smoke onto that annex area, but FaZe not committing down into that upper bomb site or down the vent. Instead, starting to size up ramp a little bit more. Waiting for some aggression from Heroic right now, and that's just coming for them. Katie in. Here is Trigger, Cold Zero, able to trade now as it is going to be Nico and Tessus. Fast on the rotation, crossfire. Looking pretty solid. Tess is just dropping down cold again with another. And he is just going to be a master of the Glock right now. But Nico's already here to put a stop to it. And oh, missed opportunity. Cold and Kierby. Shoulder to shoulder, just looking to trade this one out. But Nico, he snuck straight beneath him. That's going to be the bomb down on site now. They have to know where Kierby is. He just crabs through, waiting. Hoping that he can find an angle on down on Nico here. He hasn't got any armor either, so if he cops a couple of body shots, he's going to be in a world of pain. Whereas both of these heroic players have that armor. Need to find some headshots, Kierby. Slowly making his way back towards the site. Now it looks like Stown may just spot him, but he goes straight under. And even with the bomb control, just giving it up. So Kierby... It's oh, oh, nasty shots and finds the double off the back of nothing. Kierby single-handedly brings that back for FaZe. What is that? <laughs> Just some ridiculous raw adjustment. The man's been hitting the DM for sure. That's fantastic. Where'd that come from? Again, though, like how many clutches have FaZe won this game? It's crazy. It's the individual performances. That's another important one for FaZe to be putting across the line. Heroic, got to invest quite heavily in this one. Katie and holding on to a little extra cash so he can grab that orb in round number four if this goes a bit pear-shaped. Sizing up a duel on outers. As we see many times, anti-eco, smoke annex, smoke on the windows, and FaZe looking to try to leverage this long-range advantage with the rifles. They're going to be making it all the way to Secret. Not for long, though. Nico tries to put a stop to it with the Deagle. Down here at Secret, just holding for now. He's put a halt in their plans, really. Finds that one dig. Drops the smoke as well. And FaZe don't really know what to do in this mid-round. They're trying to hold for a little bit. Throw that smoke down and potentially just split into Annex, I suppose. Heroic is here at the ready. And they've got the solid crossfire. Nico up on the A side as well, so... Going for the gamble. Looks like Hadian has got the deepest line possible. <laughs> Hasn't left spawn here. Just making sure no one can get to heaven for free. Cheeky. The rest of them stacked up in upper. Three men with these deagles and armor awaiting phase to begin this annex split now. Go here. Tetris. It's a matter of moments down. May just be taking the contact. There it is. And Rain deals with it perfectly. Cold as well. It's the rifles to mop up the pistols here. Cadian still so far away in spawn as Tessus falls at heaven. But a clean approach from FaZe to the upper bomb site. Everyone here completely mopped up. Yeah, things were getting a little worrisome there for FaZe. But they hold their nerve. They just stay patient, wait for those pushers on outer, wait out that smoke on Annex thrown out by Heroic. And even though there's a bit of a stack in that upper bomb site, three players with pistol armor. 
phase, just make sure they have everything covered. They close that round out relatively cleanly. Four players surviving. Hold on to those Galils and AKs. And Heroic's going to have to take a save around this scout. And probably look towards the next round to try to get those guns up. Faye's taking the lead now. First time in this game. Really have ground this back from a very difficult set of circumstances. Her Heroic exploded out of the gates. They were up 8-1 eight, eight or 8-2, something like that. Now Faye's straight back into things. Well, in this battle of the Nikos, it is going to be Heroic's Nico who currently has the lead in terms of kills, but... Face clear now in the lead in the server, and that is where it counts. One round in the lead as Heroic are just on a couple of Zussi boys. Scout in the mix, P250 for down, and just that USP for Nico. So let's see how FaZe approach this one. Again, it looks like they are going to go for a slow push through outers. Which is, you know, the right choice up against the two Zeus's that are currently in the server. Oh, it's just the high percentage against Antico. Don't want to be running into lobby or ramp into a stack or something <laughs> like that. Borup is cheeky. Kadian, not an easy shot. That was a bit of a shoulder coming out, but he still hits it. And phase, similar to what we've seen once again. It's the smoke on uh, Annex, smoke on Windows. A couple of mollies into credit card in heaven, and they're just going to leverage this outside control to head up in towards the rafters and try to take some tools. So good, Cadian laying on some damage here, and it's another as Testus grabs the Galil. One bullet away from death, Cold Zera. Make his way to help for now, but there's the timing. Kierbi crabbing, shoots him through Annex. And that's going to be another on the board for FaZe. Two round lead now, but it was another costly one. Heroic just with a lackluster buy, doing plentiful damage to the economy. I think these last couple of rounds, at least individually, uh, Heroic have very much started to slow down since the beginning of the game. And FaZe have definitely stepped into the limelight, looking a little bit sharper individually. See what Heroic's got for this first CT side gun round. Nico getting a little aggressive. Nico and Nico action, your favourite, Mac. And there it is again. It's going to be Heroic Nico to win the oh, engagement. The and he's doing so much more supportive utility from Bow Up enabling. Nico here. That's very great teamwork from Heroic. Covering all their bases. Getting Nico out of a bad situation. Yes, he gets cleaned up, but that's a lot of information and a man advantage for Heroic. Well, 3v4. Let's see if FaZe can bring their way back in. Nico has been dealt with it. This Cadian's on a nasty line, and oh. it's going to be Kierby, a victim. What do you do? Gilly suit sniper on a hill. 15 miles away. Faze trying to find anything in this 2 on 4. Stuck with limited map control towards Warehouse. Nowhere near either of the bomb sites for the time being. Starting to run the clock down. They've got to make a decision sooner rather than later. Still plenty of CTs to find. They're just hoping that Heroic put a foot in the wrong direction. But for now, Heroic... Happy with the three men set up on the upper bomb site. With Tessus to gain info down on B for 20 seconds. It might just be the save here. Just taking way too long to get anywhere. And that seems to be the call. Heading in to CT spawn now. It is going to be four alive at the end for Heroic. Brokey jumps around, tries to bait out some peaks, but... Doesn't seem like that's going to happen as Heroic secure a ninth and their first for the half. Nicely done. Very convincing round for them. Good aggression. Not sitting back and resting on their laurels too much, but getting in the face of FaZe Clan. That's what I like to see. That's going to put FaZe Clan in a situation where money's looking a little shaky for them. So this is a good opportunity now for Heroic to not only take a 10-10 even scoreline, but also uh, try to extend their lead by resetting that T-side money. A bit a faster approach. Ooh. That's some classic Nico action with just the one bullet accuracy. The first one's dead on. And they're straight down secret already off the back of that one. Heroic 
haven't reacted at all. You've got Kiebi down here, full control. Just trying to control Mega. As Testus rotates through, Nico unable to deny any extra crosses into Secret there. Cold still just lurking it out as, but it's gonna be Testus finding one rain. Good amount of damage as Testus just holding control of Mega and setting up for the retake. Oh, Nico almost goes down to that nade. Cold's nowhere near. The man's miles away in the upper site, trying to sneak down the vent now and get in position. They've gotten rid of Nico. There is smokes, but it's gonna have to be Nico to get on that defuse. Cold cannot find the timing here. And Stown controls Decon perfectly. There it is, the equalizer heroic. Now, bringing it back to 10 for 10. It looks like they are gonna go on a bit of a mission. Try to find that other AK. Maybe an Orphid Outers. What's going on here? Stown was running somewhere. And regardless, there you go. Back to a tied scoreline. 10 and 10. Who will edge it out here? The economy was in the balance phase. Can they wrangle another? No, they've opted for the pistols. Yeah, they're in a bit of a weird state at this point. Their money was a bit cooked. They haven't quite built up the loss bonus they're looking for after a decent streak at the start of the half. You can see Heroic have only taken those two rounds. It's actually Heroic to take the tack pause. Well aware of the good position they're in. Trying to get a good read on the money. Hunden's going to have a word to the boys. Let them know, hey, we're in control here, up at 10 apiece. Let's close Nuke. This is our pick. It seems like the longer this game goes on, Baze are just looking ever so more dangerous. So, really starting to wake up as we do head into the final third of the map, round 21, and another pause will come through. So, something seems to be an issue. However, Tess is not finding too many issues. 19 and 11 just putting on a masterclass with the rifle there for Heroic this map. Yeah, seen a couple of gains from Tessus, uh, I think when he was on, was he on North? He was on North for a little bit. And uh, he looked okay, but this game is looking real sharp. Like, especially on that T side, T side of Nuke, the man's just got his crosshair in the perfect spot. That's like a classic Danish talent on the rifle. Just good awareness, good crosshair placement, good fundamentals. Checks all the right angles. Where'd Jordan go? Did he Did he find that route? I think so. I roasted it for him. I, bar I basted it. He basted it? Yeah, it's Sate Roo. Sate. Sate Kangaroo. <laughs> what? A little bit of that Southeast Asian influence, I guess. What do they call it? Asian fusion? <laughs> I guess so. Roof fusion, beautiful. Well, we're on the way there. Anyway, hopefully we get through this pause shortly because I want to see which Nico wins the duel. At the moment, it looks like we are going to see Heroic's Nico edging out phase Nico for the moment. 14 to 11 in terms of the kills. So mind games in the uh, competition, which really, you know, is more important here. So. Why are you even talking, man? Just press the button and start the game. I can't, uh, there's no button here, Pilly. Just start the game. Where? Can't, can't find it. Jordan! <laughs> Jordan! <laughs> Get me the button! What? <laughs> Get me the button! What button? To start the game! Thank you. What a gem. He's this really nice guy. He's really, yeah, Very he's, approachable. He's pretty quick in here too. Quick on his feet. Very nimble. Coming in at a grand total of 45 kilos. <laughs> Six foot one. Yes, Jordan. he is a fully grown man. The stick <laughs> elfish guy maze. <laughs> Literally a stick insect. You ever seen Kerbio orping before? Never seen it. Never in my life. Also, apologies to anyone who probably listened to that uh, peaky microphone. <laughs> 
feel like I've heard a few ears out there. Uh, you know, send your invoices to me. Good news <laughs> for you guys. I'll sort you all out. Here in Australia, we do have a couple of those institutes that do the hearing aids and whatnot. I can't remember what it was, whether it was like the hearing aid or the something that goes with the hearing aid, but we invented something to do with hearing. <laughs> we <laughs> Isn't that great? We invented something to do with hearing. And when I say we, it's me taking credit partially for people that are a lot more smarter and talented than myself. Which is what National Pride's all about, really. Of course. At least we don't sniff tinnies like Jordan Mace. Where'd he go? He, where's the button? Oh, he didn't bring it. Maybe he's, he can't find the button. Oh, we'll be back I heard soon. Jordan said he's bringing the button in 90 seconds. Okay. He said he's on his way. We've had word. We've had word. So it looks like the game will be back on very shortly. Never lose Cloud9 or NA team in a major final ever again. Sign here. Hex guy, come on. That's only one cause, though. What's he get out of it? That's. How many shekels does he get for being in FaZe Clan? I reckon you get a few shekels. Or Ruples? What do they pay him in? I have no idea what those are. <laughs> are they currencies? <laughs> I've, I've, I'll have you know, Philly. Yes. I'm true blue. Never left the country. No, I have one time. Twice, actually. I remember. Been to the North Americas. So you I would know about that. Well, it looks like we are going to be getting underway in just a moment. So, we can finally find out which Nico Nico's harder than the other Nico. From this point, Pilly, who do you think is going to take it? Mm. Forget about momentum. Forget about everything that's happened. From what you've seen from the form from both the teams at the moment, who do you think is looking like they should take map number one at least? Oh, man. You can't do that to me. I want to say heroic. Be got the He's got, got the button! I got the button! Press it! It's here! Hang on! <laughs> okay, go! Go? We good? Oh! There we are. He found the button. Thank you so much, Jordan. Getting back into the action here. He looks ESL really one worn cologne. out. He looks really dehydrated. wonder how long he has to travel for that. It certainly might be. Get back into the action, except Baze Clan. Yeah, after they got all that. After all that, they're pistols. taking a save. Yeah, look, here's the thing, Mac. I think Heroic's playing it. Oh, we'll just hold that thought for a sec. They are just running straight through these smokes into the other on the side. Faster approach now as Down is going to be trying to deal with this from the top part. Now another found as he dances through the smoke. They're bow up with two. And Heroic just managed to edge out into the lead 11 to 10. But FaZe should be able to buy up here. That's a good cleanup. Um, I'm, I was saying, you know, I think Heroic's playing a better game of Nuke, but I think FaZe might be a little bit more on point individually than some of these Heroic players that I have a fear are slowing down a little bit as this game goes a little longer. But plenty more rounds to get into to sort of prove or disprove that theory. It can still go either way, Mac. The good thing for Heroic is, like I said, they're well and truly in control of this game. They've got control of that CT side economy. Faze throwing the left side wall of smokes toward outer, as well as that warehouse smoke, and just walking around, seeing what they can find. We do have the rotation down from Cadian in towards lower. Nico's just hunting for anything now, but Faze, they've just hit the brakes at outers. They're just chilling, man. Waiting for a push. I, th I think they're kind of waiting for Cadian, but he's never really yeah. bit. And now they just hit the gas. I thought they were going to commit down secret, but it's the walk into warehouse. Faye's in some very sneaky positions. I think Heroic should be well aware of what's clean and what's dirty for the time being. So they need to make sure they have their bases covered and aren't caught off guard by this first and foremost Nico. Oh. Gets one for one. They just crab walk in here as well to stay invisible. To any lines there at CT as well. Hmm. 
So FaZe with 30 seconds on the clock. Bomb starts to head back toward Annex. Nico's leaving secret. It's going to be an Annex split to finish it off. And the spray brought back by Cold at the perfect time. That's going to be the main advantage, but Cold and Nico both so low. It could just be turned around at the moment. It's down oh. here from default. Finds the double. And that's going to be the round. Bow up there from Mustang. That's just a great crossfire. Stown's got everything on that right side. Borup's got his close left. Just trusting each other to hold strong. And that's fantastic from Heroic. So whatever the issue seems to hopefully be sorted. We're on a big third, but I can hear the timer ticking down. I got, I got triggered for a second. Different. Not I better or worse. I didn't want to have to call for the button again, Pilly. I didn't <laughs> want Jordan to have to come near me. He stinks. No, oh. he stinks good. <laughs> he stinks good. Anyway, two, it doesn't stink good. Getting hit by a bunch of HE nades mm. on your way to secret. That one smells pretty bad. Nico catches a whiff, though, as he tries to hold and stop the push through the halls. And he's got so many men crossing, but Tans is over to the stairs. Oh. Mops it up with a 4K. Very quick up against the Deagles and FaZe just don't react in time. The man again just pumping the numbers there. What's he up to now? 23 for 12. Doing work on the rifle again for Heroic. Yeah. But I think, you know, you have to hand it to some of the others on Heroic as well. Nico, Borup and Stown these last couple of rounds all looking pretty solid as well. At least for the time being, doesn't really seem to be a wink link for Heroic on this CT side. But right, it's up to FaZe on this gun round. They're running out of time. Need to find some crack in the defense. Let's see if they can find it this round. Because Heroic quickly have stacked on three. They get three more, then that will be map number one done and dusted. But for now, FaZe going for a late approach to outers. Just lining up the wall of smokes here. No counting facility. Molly goes deep. And Tessus is here and waiting. Uh, he little, wants another quad. A little bit of a triangle here from Heroic between Nico, Tessus, and... Uh, um, who is it in that annex area? Stown. He gets smoked off. So they're starting to isolate some of these angles phase. Bit of a one way from Tessus. Trying to make his way across, but oh. phase they're edging. Looking to wrap through warehouse. Wrap to hell, but Nico puts a stop to it. And Stown as well comes in. Just lending a helping hand as Brokey in this two on four needs to fight back for it. But that bomb is down in such a rough position. Kadian has a line on it as well. This is devastating for FaZe. Oh, Brokey's basically just got an ace. He's making his way over to it. He's already found himself three, now oh. rounding the corner, but Stown's dealt with him. That's a great round from Stown. He gets himself smoked off at Annex, but it's cheeky from the man. Pushes through the smoke on the right timing on Nico's contact towards the back of Warehouse, and that's what I was talking about. Faze, they're going for that outside control, but there's a little bit of a triangle set up. Nico, Stown, as well as Tessus over there towards Secret, and any time that Faze tries to get some ground, you just see CTs picking out from different angles on annoying timings. It's just about playing the hand you're given, and Stown's done that perfectly. But it's a faster approach now. Faze just straight towards the upper site. They've hit the brakes, though. Yeah. Interesting to see them investing in this round. Guess they don't want Heroic to secure that match point. Now going for this execute. Just trying to bust their way out. That Molly near the top of Heart, but Bow up and Nico reroute the whole of FaZe clan here. Dude, he Nico, he is just on one right now. Bottom of ramp, but it's Tessus to finish. Heroic are just like three, four steps ahead, man. They shut down that upper's. Uh, Exe, which just one player sent out hut, pretty much dies instantly to Borup. And they don't budge an inch at ramp. Well, they the still thing. had the two-man set up in towards ramp. Since that tech pause, FaZe Clan just lost all momentum, it seems. So you have I to feel so, yeah. for them. I think so, yeah. Yeah. You have to feel for them. I would agree with you to some extent. At the same time, though, I feel like Heroic has been the much more solid team in this game. And FaZe, a lot of their rounds have been... Not all of them, but 
a fair few of them have been predicated off some big individual performances and some clutches from Kierby and Brokey. Let's see if the individuals can fire up before the match is done. This is their last chance on Nuke. And they need to string five together, but Kierby already falling Cadian with an aggressive peek through Squeak. Look at his picture. That just sums it up. He's a cheeky boy. Finds that opener for Heroic. Puts even more pressure on phase as they face match point. A minute and ten on the clock. Not a single lick of map control for FaZe Clan. They're going to start investing some smokes in ours. It's the left side wall of smoke once again. See how this one's dealt with. Kadian got so much damage from the molly, but using the smoke, he'll fall back. And FaZe, looks like they are just positioned straight to either double back to ramp or go to the upper side here. Looks like Tessus is still at the ready, playing the pixel line, ready to drop this molly, and it's the perfect time as well. It's actually a smoke, the lineup's there, but he's only good for one as Cold trades it. Nico comes into elbow, and there's 20 seconds to get to the site and plant. Now Nico just doing so much right now for Heroic. 4v1 as Brokey needs to try to save it. It's a very unlikely occurrence if he can get this done as Kadian misses a shot. That's another opening. 10 seconds, Brokey taps it, expects the swing, and there it is. Down with the finisher. 16 to 10 in map number one. Phase.